chapter 6 uh, triangles part 11 so in this part we are going to see some more important problems from the exercise 6.5 seventh problem is very very important repeated questions clear yeah. so we have to thoroughly practice prove that the sum of the squares of the sides of a rhombus is equal to sum of the squares of its diagrams so here you have to recall the properties of rhombus what are the properties of rhombus all the sides are equal and the diagonals are bisect each other at 90 degree diagonals are see the diagram all sides are equal and the diagonals that is very important problem diagonals are okay bisect each other bisect means correctly divide into two equal parts correctly divide into two equal parts bisect each other at 90 degree at 90 degree okay then all sides are equal all sides are equal. All sides are equal. Okay. So this property you have to remember and using this uh, rhombus property only you are going to prove this uh, result. So read the problem. Prove that the sum of the squares of the sides of the rhombus. Sum of the squares means a b squared. Sum means plus bc squared plus cd squared plus ad squared is equal to sum of the squares of its diagonal that means ac squared plus bd squared ac squared plus bd squared that we have to prove okay so first you write given diagram then given you write what is given here abcd is a rhombus abcd is a rhombus Which uh, AC and BD are diagonals and meeting at and meeting at O to prove AB squared plus bc squared plus cd squared plus ad squared is equal to ac squared plus bd squared so you should know how to write how to prove clear you should know because only this statement only given you have to draw the diagram given to prove then proof you have to write first you write a b c d is the wrong given So all sides are equal. AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to AD. Okay. All sides are equal and and diagonals are bisect each other. That means OA equal to OB. Uh, OA equal to OC. And uh, OB equal to O, OB equal to O, diagonal bisect each other. Okay. Use a property, this one. This one you take it as 1. This one you take it as 1. Okay. And AD perpendicular to also AD Uh, also, AC perpendicular to BD is also given. Okay, properties of rhombus. Therefore, in right triangle, in right triangle AOB, you can take AOB or uh, what uh, COB, anyway you can take. Okay, and for my comment, I am taking AOB. You try right triangle AOB. By Pythagoras theorem use. Use uh, Pythagoras theorem. What says this 90 degree opposite 
side is hypotenuse side. So AB squared equal to AB squared is equal to OA squared plus OB squared. OA squared plus OB OA squared plus OB squared. Right. So when uh, what is OA? What is OA? This uh, diagonal bisect each other means OA equal to OC. So AC is nothing but OA plus OC. OC nothing but what OA. So 2 OA. 2 OA equal to what? AC. Or OA equal to half of AC. OA equal to half of AC. So I am replacing here. Place of uh, what? Uh, OA, I am writing half of AC. OA is half of AC. The whole square, I am changing only what? This OA. I am changing OA. Half of AC. Clear? Use this uh, one by one. Right? Then uh, OB nothing but what? OB nothing but half of OD. OB nothing but half of because 50 50. Uh, bisect means what? 50 50. Clear? Yeah, 50 means half, half of BD. Half of BD, the 4 square. Right. So this can be written as here uh, for example. For, uh, or by 1 you write. Okay, by 1. From 1 we are using this demand. By 1. So this is nothing but AC squared of AC means what? AC squared by 4. AC squared by 4 plus this is nothing but BD squared by 4. Right. Now what I am going to do is take LCM. AC squared plus BD squared. So this 4 you trans multiply. This 4 you trans multiply means 4AB squared is equal to AC squared plus BD squared. Okay, now uh, here you see R, uh, the same proof you can write uh, what, uh, 4 AB squared because all sides are equal. So, 4 times you can put the AB. Clear? They may ask like that also. Clear? Prove, they will change. Prove that the uh, 4 times of the sides of the numbers is equal to the sum of the squares of the items. They may ask like that also. But if you want to write like this, you can write, you write uh, 4 times this. AB squared plus AB squared plus AB squared plus AB squared, right? That is equal to AC squared plus BD squared. Understand? Now uh, AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to AB. So you can change it now. Therefore, AB squared plus BC squared plus CD squared plus AB squared is equal to AC squared plus BD squared. Okay, hence proof. Hence proof. Okay, so this is very, very, very important uh, question in CBC exam repeated. Clear? So, thoroughly how to practice, you have to remember this system. Okay, correctly how to apply. Then you cross multiply means you get. Okay. You see this uh, problem, 8th problem, diagram is given. O is a point inside, anywhere you can take. O is uh, what? Anywhere you can take. Here the O is there. Okay. The diagram is still given. So, diagram is still given. O is interior point of the triangle. Then OD is uh, perpendicular to BC and OE is perpendicular to AC. And OF, OF is perpendicular to, this is OF, perpendicular to AB, it is given. So that, uh, first one you have to prove like this, second one also you have to prove. First you write uh, given, ABC is a triangle. O is uh, interior point. O is interior of triangle that is C. Then uh, OD 
perpendicular to BC. OE perpendicular to AC and OF perpendicular to AB. To prove for that you need construction. You need construction. Construction uh, what you have to do is because in this diagram you are not getting uh, here perpendicular is there, you are not getting right triangle. So how will you use uh, the Pythagoras theorem? You cannot use it directly. So that you draw construction. Here join OE. Join OE. Okay. And join OB. See if you join you will get a right triangle. So that you can use Pythagoras theorem. Okay. When you join only you can get right triangle. Getting or not? Yes. Now join OC. Join OC. Okay. So you have to write construction join OA, OB, and OC. Okay. Now you take, uh, see the first proof. First proof, what you have to prove? The left hand side, you see AF squared is there. Okay, AF is squared there. So AF squared is involved in this triangle. Okay, this triangle. AF squared involved in this triangle. So you take first this triangle. In triangle, in right triangle, you write. Okay, that is better. Generally, you can apply it. That was there. Right triangle, AOF. By Pythagoras theorem, PT means Pythagoras theorem apply means 90 degree opposite that is OA square equal to OA square equal to what you will get? OF square plus EF square. OF square plus EF square. This is in case of number one. Also in right triangle. Second, BD, BD is involved in this right triangle. So, correctly you have to take, okay, BOD you take, right triangle, BOD. So, see the proof, what you have to prove, accordingly you have to do, clear? Right hand side, BD squared is there, BD squared involved in this means, apply to the other side, automatically you will get left hand side. You see, OB, OB squared plus, the 90 degree opposite side OB squared equal to OB squared equal to what you will get OD squared plus BD squared by PT right this is UTS number 2 third one CE squared CE involved this right triangle this right triangle you will get okay okay in the right triangle COD By PT, by PT, OC square equal to, okay, 90 degree opposite, hypotenuse side square equal to, OE square plus C square. That is the case number, okay, case number, okay. Now what you have to do is adding all the threes. Add 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives OA squared plus just to add left hand side OA squared plus all the left hand side add OB squared plus OC squared. That's equal to now all the right hand side add OF squared plus AF squared plus. OD square plus BD square plus OE square plus C square C square. So next to what you have to do is according to the proof all OD, OE, OF from the right hand side you have. So bring the left hand side will change the sign. First you write OE square plus OD square plus OC square you write as it is. Now you bring it minus OD squared minus OE squared plus OC squared. 
minus OE squared minus OF squared that is equal to AF squared plus BD squared plus CD squared. Okay, so hence uh, prove one. Hence prove one. Okay, hence prove one. So from this uh, what uh, proof you can easily what uh, prove uh, this second proof. The second proof. So how will you uh, prove that? Already you have what uh, left hand side you have that. Uh, right hand side okay so you see in this uh, what uh, uh, right hand side a e squared you have to get a e squared a e squared is involved where a e squared is involved here a e squared is involved here okay so that is nothing but uh, what a e squared a e squared equal to o a squared minus o e squared you have you see o a squared minus o e squared group it further right further O A squared minus O E squared. O A squared minus O E squared plus next uh, C D squared. You have C D squared. Okay, C D squared is involved in here. So this can be written as uh, O C squared minus O D squared. O C squared minus O E squared already you have right plus remaining you write O C squared already written then O B squared minus O F squared O C squared or O B squared minus O F squared correctly you can you see that uh, B F squared is nothing but O B squared minus O F squared getting a mark Yes, that is equal to you write this uh, right hand side as it is you write. No change. Write as it is. Right? As it is. Okay. So now this is nothing but this is nothing but a e squared. Agree or not? This is nothing but o a squared. Using the other theorem, clear O A squared minus O E squared. O A squared minus O E squared means A E squared. A E squared plus same thing C D squared. This is uh, nothing but C D squared. C D C D squared equal to O C squared minus O D squared plus uses nothing but uh, BF squared that is equal to AF squared plus BD squared plus C squared that is divided by Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem we use for all the three terms we use the Pythagoras theorem you just to read what rewrite a f squared plus uh, b d squared plus c e squared equal to a e squared plus c d squared plus b f squared and screw two understand from the proof one easily you can prove Sometimes they may ask separately, clear? Uh, prove, only second proof if they ask means uh, what you have to do is also you can same way you can do it, clear? If they ask for a second proof also, same way you can do it, clear? Understand? Just the idea only, it is very important, okay? Only, only using the uh, what Pythagoras theorem, all the triangles, all the right triangles using Pythagoras theorem. Understand? Then adding this we get. You will see the next problem. It is a application problem. Okay. Read the problem correctly. 
an aeroplane leaves an airport and flies due north and flies due north at a speed of 1000 km per hour at the same time another aeroplane leaves the same airport and flies due west at a speed of 1200 km per hour how far apart will be the two places after one and a half hours okay after one and a half hours what is the distance between the two aeroplanes okay so here uh, airport you consider this is airport okay this point is airport okay now an airplane leaves an airport and flies due north due north this is north okay what is this is due north n u t due north flies at a speed of 1000 km per hour this is speed 1000 km per hour 1000 km per hour after one hour after this is direction okay this is direction after one hour it starts from here after one hour okay it is reaching at this point this point okay you take uh, B. Okay, this one A U T. A for airport. Okay, you don't know the distance. Okay, after one hour, after uh, after one and a half hours, after one and a half hours, it reaches at B. Clear? It is moving thousand kilometers per hour. Another airplane leaves the same airport and flies due west. This side uh, west. Due west, it is uh, it flies thousand two hundred kilometer per hour. Okay, after uh, one and a half hour, it reaches at this point. Take a uh, C, take C. Now distance between two airplane. Clear? Distance between two airplane. This distance you have to find. So here correctly we will get a right triangle 90 degree we get. Using Pythagoras theorem we can easily find out. So you should need the distance AB and AC you should need. For that but uh, time is given. Time is how much? Time is one and a half hours given. Okay after one and a half hours it reach at B and in this side what it reach at a C. So this using this time and the speed, speed and the time means you can find out distance. Okay, distance equal to what is the formula? Distance equal to speed into time. Speed into time. Speed you have, time you have. Okay, multiply means you get A C and the A B. Right. Right here. So distance covered. Right, time is time is what one and a half hours given. Distance covered. By an aeroplane. Which uh, flies. Due north, due north at a speed of at a speed of speed of thousand two hundred kilometers per hour. That is equal to distance. Distance means speed into time. Speed into time. Write the formula. Distance equal to speed into time. That is equal to what's the speed here? Due north speed is thousand. Into the time is one and a half hours. One and a half hours means uh, how much? Three by two hours. Okay, three by two. So you cut it with five hundred. So you will get a thousand. 
1500 km 1500 km that is nothing but ab that is nothing but ab okay 1500 km same way distance covered by an another aeroplane So same distance equal to what? Speed in time. That is uh, speed is 1200. Time is same. So 600. That means 1800 kilometer. This is nothing but AC. Nothing but AC. Right. Now you take this right triangle. Ring. Triangle. That is in right triangle. The triangle. ABC or BSC by Pitaka's theorem by Pitaka's theorem what you can write BC square equal to that only we need okay BC square equal to BC is nothing but distance between two aeroplanes BC square equal to AB square plus AC square so what is uh, AB 1500 the so whole square what is AC 1800 whole square now squaring a rule that means 15 square is about 225 then 2 squared uh, square means 4 0 same way here also 18 squared is 324 4 0 you write 18 squared is 324 Okay, then 4 0. Okay, now both you should add. Both you should add. Means uh, 9 number around add. First. Then 4 0 you put it. So this is nothing but BC square. Now we need BC. BC equal to square root of this uh, 549 into 10,000 now this alone that is this is nothing but 100 root over uh, 10,000 is 100 into root over 549 you have to take square root to factorize three table one time 24 eight times then three times again uh, three table six one that's all So that is equal to 100 into 3 into 3 into 61. So in the square root uh, 2, 3, there will be 1, 3 you take out. And the root over 61. So 300 root over 61 kilometer. That is the required distance between two aeroplane. Okay. Therefore, required distance is. Three hundred root over sixty one kilometer. Okay. So very important problem this also. Very important application problems. Okay, thoroughly practice the simplification part correctly how to do. Okay. You see this uh, one more application problem, 12th problem. Two poles of heights uh, 6 meter and 11 meter stand on a plain ground. If the distance between the feet of the poles 12 meter given, find the distance between their tops. Okay. Distance between the feet of the poles. Two poles you have. One is at a height of 6 meter height. One pole 6 meter. Another pole, 11 meter, 11 meter height, okay. This is the top of the pole, this one feet of the pole, distance is how much? 12 meter, distance is 12 meter. 
you take our AB beater, height of the pole of 11 meter and the CD be the height of the pole of 6 meter. This is 11 meter from here to here, 11 meter. <coughs> okay. Now what you have to do is uh, how to find out the top of the poles means you should join these two. So join these two on top. This distance you have to find. Okay, it is uh, getting a trapezium. You are getting uh, any right triangle? No. For that, what you have to do is you draw, draw CE perpendicular. Draw CE perpendicular to AB. C perpendicular to AB means you will get right angle to triangle. At the same time, this is 6 meter means this is also 6 meter. This is also 6 meter. So what will be this length? Full 11, 6 reduced means 5 meter. Now this one right, right, rectangle. So opposite sides are equal. 6 meter, 6 meter means this is 12 meter. So easily you can use this Pythagoras theorem and you can find out the Distance between the two poles. Okay, so solution you write. AB be the pole. Let AB be the height of the pole of eleven meter, and a CD be the pole. Of height six meter. Okay. Now draw draw C E perpendicular to A B. Therefore, A E will be five meter. A E equal to full eleven minus six. That is 5 meter AE and opposite sides are equal that means uh, EC equal to 12 meter EC equal to what uh, BD that is equal to what 12 meter understand now in right triangle you do in right triangle AEC By Pythagoras theorem, by PT, AC square equal to AE square plus EC square. So Pythagoras theorem, you should know how to apply. Okay, so AC square, the 90 degree opposite the hypotenuse side, that is AC square equal to. That only we have to find out. Okay, AC square equal to AE square plus EC square. Now what will be the AE 5 squared? What will be EC 12? The whole square. So 5 squared you know 25. 12 squared 144. So add means 169. 169. That is AC square. But we need AC. AC square equal to 169 nothing but 13 square. Therefore both the side take square means AC is 13. Okay. Therefore, required distance will be the tops. Okay. 13 meter. Therefore, distance will be the required distance is 13 meter. That's right. Okay. So very easy, easily you can what, uh, apply the Pythagoras theorem and you can do it. Only thing is you have to what, read the problem and draw the diagram, that is very important. Correctly how to draw the diagram, okay. Then uh, apply Pythagoras theorem, is it, okay. So same type of problems, I will give it as uh, homework. Do the homework problems for better practice.